right guys the next team we are about to talk about is the blades coached by matt and also known as the american sniper because <laughs> he is he sniped this draft big time he, he had the most uh, confirmed kills by any uh, pml coach this draft and he went ahead and picked up a uh, clefable komo lichen rock midday Serena, Tentacruel, Golurk, Lucario, Salazzle, Weavile, and Mandibo. <clears throat> Take it away, Stu. Well, I thought this team was quite well-rounded. Um, plenty of type coverage, special and physical attackers, pretty good bulk, redirection. You got Serena there, Queenly Majesty. Um... Yeah, I think Mandibuzz was the glue that brought this team together in the final pick of the draft, of his, of his draft. It made it way bulkier than it, than it was. And uh, I think that's, you know, I gave it a seven for bulk because I think that's what brought it together. Yeah, I like his team. I do see a lot of glass cannons on it. There is some bulky Pokemon, but I don't, I don't know. I'd have to see how he actually puts them to use. I gave him a six. Uh, I also gave Matt a seven, and um, I think I agree mostly with Stuart. I think it's just um, well, I agree with both of you really. I think it comes to the same sort of conclusion. There's not a lot of glass cannons in his team, like Salazzle and Weavile are both four times weak to or one's weak four times weak to ground, and the other's four times weak to fighting, and they don't really like taking hits anyway. Um, I think those Pokemon are particularly weakened to spread me, so Clefable won't be able to help them out too much. Um, also, he's got four times weak come on. and um, you know, I think, he's, uh, but yeah, it does have good balls. Like Fable and Mandibuzz will hold hold it together. Um, Tentacruel is not um, not not a not made of glass. It's quite bulky as well, and um, yeah, I think it's done okay. I, mean, I think it's seven. All right, and that moves us to a uh, speed tier. Um, I look at his team, and I see Weavile and Salazzle is pretty much his speed tier there. Tentacruel is secretly speedy, and of course Lycanroc is speedy, and it also gets Sand Rush. <clears throat> I just don't see him maxing Lycanroc as much as uh, <coughs> other mods on his team, like uh, Komo. Yeah, what would you say? Lycanroc um, gets Sand Rush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. The the midday form only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I knew that one. I really wanted that black and rock. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's bitter. Just a little bit bitter. Um. Yeah, for, Matt. for speed tiers, I gave him a six. Uh, I gave Same him a seven. Here. I thought I gave him a seven, um, and uh, I'm prepared to justify why. Um, he's got good, um, both uh, Lycan Rock and Dolo get good priority moves. Um, Excella Rock and um, Shadow Sneak are particularly good. Weavile with Ice Shard, and Weavile also being particularly fast. Um, Lucario has got a, a multiple priority moves in Extreme Speed Bullet Punch back in way, depending on whether he wants to set up physically or specially. Um, Mandibuzz can get off a good tailwind. He's got a, quite a number of options. Uh, Tomo can get the um, he can get an Omni Boost or a Dragon Dance. I think I think he's got yeah. some yeah. really good options. I feel you. I feel like that's legitimate. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Good Seven. options. All right, Stu, and you gave him six. Same reasons, or you have a different reason? Oh, no, I, yeah, I've given my reasons. They're all good. Okay. Yeah, it's all good. All right, well, that brings us to wall breaking. And looking at Matt's team, he does have some wall breaker potential. He does. But I have big, big concerns about whether or not he can actually make it work. Because... Um... Kowal is particularly weak to fairy, as we know. 
and the Fable would be there to try and help it out with its following every direction, but if you're setting up battling wings, there's not really much you can do. Um, I think most Pokemon, or most, most trainers when they're coming up against this team, will look to whack a dazzling wing against them. And yeah, you can switch in Macario on a predicted dazzling wing, but you want... Come on, want to it's a, set it's up a neutral hit though. It's a neutral hit, too risky. Mm, yeah. Well, maybe Tentacruel then. I think it's especially defensive. I mean, unless you want to... Yeah, Tentacruel. But then you, you're you're at risk of having a Clefable Tentacruel or Clefable, I mean, a Tentacruel Mandibuzz on the field, and there's no offensive pressure there. Mm. And, and unless you've got one of your dark types on the field, you're in trouble when it comes to um, the psychic types, because uh, there's a few psychic weak Pokemon there. I mean, even a, a like a, a Salt Vest Arena would be a good switch in for him on that, but then you're, you're limiting Serena's ability as well. well. I think he's got some options there. I, I think he yeah, has. just because those questions about whether or not he'll be able to reliably set up combo or to really take advantage of um, that, that wall breaking potential. Yeah, knowing Matt, he really knows how to work with combo. So I'm sure he'll figure something out. Yeah. Yeah. What did you guys give him? I gave him a seven. Yep, seven. I gave him a six. I know he, he goes well with Kamal, but um, I've got concerns about reliability. About reliability. Yeah, I feel the same. <laughs> I there's some that there's some of his Pokemon that can give immediate pressure, but I don't feel it would be enough to to win a game without some setup. <laughs> All right, and that brings us to recovery and support. <clears throat> uh, Stuart, how do you feel about that? I gave it the highest mark of the of, that I gave his team, which was an eight, solely because he picked Mandibuzz up last. Like, I think Mandibuzz is a great mod, and especially in doubles, and I think it rounded out his team. Yes, it's a second dark type, but he needed it. He needed to um, protect those psychic weak Pokemon. Um, you know, Clefable does lots of different things. Um, you know, Weavile's got, you know, fake out and that sort of thing. The only thing he's really lacking is like a speed boosting um, move that man, you know, because Mandibuzz is going to have roll compression, right? He needs something else outside of that to do it. Who knows? Yeah, Mandibuzz is probably tough from that four move syndrome, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because there might be matches where he comes in with no attacks. Could be. I mean, do you run Roost, Tailwind? I feel like you, you have to run Foul Play, surely. Yeah, Foul Play or Knock Off usually, but like, if you are wanting to do all these different things, then that's the way to do mm. it. Yeah, I went ahead and gave him a six for recovery and support. Uh, I know Clefable has a lot to give, and Mandibuzz does too. It's just, how do you get both how do you get both of them to support your team at the same time? That's where I feel like he mm. struggle. But if he could pull it off, it would really benefit his team. No, I went a seven on this as well. I think that what you said too. You went seven. What do you say? Eight. Maybe eight. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Sorry, I didn't realize you. I didn't realize you're talking to me. <laughs> no, no, all good. All good. You know, I went seven. And um, I sort of like in between Stu and uh, Joe, like he's got good options. Does it translate onto the field? It sort of remains to be seen. It's a bit, I like I like follow me. Like, I like follow me. Follow me is good. Follow me is good. I just like well, what are you what are you protecting with follow me? If you're protecting combo, you've got that's an image. <laughs> it's not really going to be helpful. <laughs> Um, same with like Macario, same with Salazzle, they're both weak to they're both very weak to earthquakes. If you're following me, it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a problem. Earthquake. What about um it, it was okay, I'm, gonna th I'm gonna throw in at you that you we haven't talked about at all in any of the teams, but I probably should have thought about it when I was doing the, the analysis in the first place. 
What about Ally Switch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ally Switch Again, is a big spreadsheet. one. Spreadsheet. Ally Switch could fail. Ally Switch is good. It, it will yeah. be helpful, but again, with the spread thing, you're just sort of yeah. moving it from left to right, and you're just going to still get hit anyway. Um, hmm. Skrona gets it as well. It's in the same vein as Follow Me. Yeah. Redirecting and switching. All right, and that leads us to Team Synergy. And, I mean, along with everything else we've been talking about and the low scores he's gotten so far, I'm going to have to give him another 7. Just because you know the way it's it's been agreed on. Yeah, I I went seven as well. You know, it it averages out to seven for each score, but thirty five overall is I think fair for this team. Um, Matt's a better battler than uh, you know a lot of people, so he's going to do do his business and it's going to win some games. But um, you know, I'm not like all oh, this team scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. that's exactly how I feel too. Um, he'll he'll show up. He'll be very competitive. He'll win a few games. He might make finals. He might just fall short. He's sort of like in that you know mid table kind of. For me, he's in that mid table team. And you know, I'm not counting him out at all. Matt is one of those people who always no. seems to slide in the playoffs, like at the last. Exactly. Minute. So. He's missing the blade though. What's he gonna do? <laughs> he's not gonna. <laughs> he's gonna have to regularly sneak in, not shadow sneak this time. <laughs> well, he's got the, he, can, he can shadow sneak in with uh, with um, what's the name again? Go look. Go look. So yeah, all, all right. right and uh, Jaden, what was your final score in total? Oh, sorry, give me two seconds. Of- could have added up. Should have added up while I was on the fly, but I'm holding the baby. No, you're good. Uh, seven volt, six for ball breaking, 13. Speed control, was, I think I said seven, was 20. Then I said was seven for support was 27. Synergy, seven was 34. 34 out of 50. All right, so 34. Stuart was a 35, and I was a 32. Correct. All right, well, that sums up Matt's team uh yep and actually, right. there's one more thing I want to say that's one, one more thing I want to say though okay. about Matt's team is that um if he wants to trade uh like and rock I am <laughs> I am available for a trade all right well Matt the offer is the on the table the DMs are always open for Matt like all right let's see how the next team fares okay.